Are you confused on all the Facebook ads targeting features there are when you are creating your Facebook ad campaign? Then keep watching this video. What is up everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my part three of my entire Facebook ads tutorial for 2021. Now in our part one, we talked about the Facebook ad preparation. In part two, we specifically talk about the campaign structure and how you should be setting up your campaign to get the maximum results. And if you have not watched those two parts yet, make sure you simply go over here where it's popping up right now, click on that, watch part one and part two first before you dive right in into part three of our multi-part Facebook ads tutorial for 2021. Now, before we actually get into our topic for this video, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So having that out of the way, let's talk about the Facebook ads targeting. So in part three, which is this video, we're gonna talk about everything within your ad sets. So after you got all the Facebook ad preparation done and you have chosen the conversion of the campaign objective, since that majority of you should be running an online business. So if you want to obviously get the lead or you want to actually get the cost per sale at the lowest cost, you wanna choose conversion. So that being said, once you actually go into the asset level, the first thing that Facebook will ask of you is simply to choose the conversion that you want. Now, as I said in part one, your pixel, it's ultimately one of the most important parts of Facebook ads because you need to actually let Facebook know that you actually got a conversion from the ads that you have created and it really sends back all the data points back to Facebook to help you properly optimize for your campaign to get the best result. So right over here, you will actually get to see a drop down menu. After you have selected your pixel, you can actually choose between lead, add to cart, page view, initiate checkouts, or even purchases. These are the standard events that we talked about earlier. And with these standard events, again, you are basically telling Facebook specifically the outcome that you want for your ad after you have chosen conversion as your marketing objective. So if you want leads, simply choose lead as the optimization goal. Or if you want to actually get a purchase, then simply choose purchase. Now at the same time, under the conversion, you can actually create custom conversions. We're not gonna actually cover that in this entire tutorial because this tutorial is more or less for beginners, but if you are more advanced, you should be creating custom conversions, especially if you offer multiple products and multiple services for your business. In a nutshell, just choose the standard conversion of the ultimate outcome that you want for your Facebook ads to get started. So in this case, we're gonna choose purchase. Now, once you have selected your conversion, the next part is simply creating, or I should say setting up the actual custom audience. Now, the custom audience, if you are just starting out, you can simply ignore this. But if you are wanting to create a retargeting campaign or you are choosing lookalike audiences, then you can actually select it right inside the custom audience. But if you are brand new, you haven't ran a Facebook app before, you can actually skip the custom audience and go straight to location. Now, under the location, Here's my opinion. I believe that Facebook have to do something better about their location because by default, you are actually not gonna get the best result with your Facebook ad, especially if you are optimizing off of purchases. And the reason why is because right here, when you see right here, you can actually see the screenshot, by default, it is going after people living in and recently 
in this location. So what that means is that if you are leaving it by default, although right now with obviously travel restriction with COVID-19 and the pandemic, but at the end of the day, you still want to go after the best practice. If you go by default on choosing people living in this location and people recently in this location, what that means is that you are essentially going to be targeting people that are not living in that specific location that you want. So let's say if you want to target the entire United States and you leave the defaults the way that Facebook told you to do, you are actually going to get people probably from Canada, from Mexico, from United Kingdom, from Russia, from China, that people actually are traveling in the United States, they will still see your ad. Ultimately, if anyone is traveling, they won't buy a specific product. Even they actually like it or they saw it, they won't complete the checkout. They would actually go back home and if they remember, they will then actually come and buy. So what you want to do is to actually in the location to change it only to people living in this location so that you are only going after people that are actually living in that area that actually have some time to go through the customer journey to actually become your customer. All right. So now again, for location wise, depending if you are a local business or if you are a online business that wants to actually reach the entire world. And at this point, you want to basically put in a country in this case, United States, or if you are running a local business, you can actually drop down the office address or your retail address right into the location and then just set a radio, a radius mile that you can actually serve. So that's it when it comes to the location. The next part are the age and gender. Now, if you know your market well enough, you don't have to worry and let Facebook do the job. Let's say that if you actually owns a female product line, right? Then obviously you want to actually eliminate male in the gender and just go after female. But if your product actually works on both female and male, then you want to basically set this into both male and female and let Facebook help you optimize to see if the male is doing better or the female are doing better. And also when it comes to the age, same rule applies. If you know exactly that you know your client are maybe just baby boomers, then you can actually go after 55 plus. But then if you are not sure exactly who your audience are or if all age range will actually buy your product, leave it by default. And what Facebook will do is that Facebook will actually help you find which age and gender is going to work out the best for you. And they will allocate your budget to actually serve your ads to the exact gender and also to the exact age group that will most likely get you the lowest cost per conversion. Now, next step is the detailed targeting. Now with the detailed targeting, Here's the first thing first, before you even go after a specific targeting, you want to uncheck targeting expansion. You don't want to have Facebook to really extend out of your core audience that you want to go after. If you do that, the quality is actually a lot less than just going after your core audience. So make sure you target expansion is checked off. Now let's talk about the detailed targeting. Now, when it comes to the detailed targeting, depending on what stage you are at in your Facebook ad journey, if you are just starting out, what you wanted to do is to go after a more narrow audience or niche down to actually go after an audience size of around a million to 1.5 million, because you want to actually micro test in the beginning on an audience that is more targeted than going after the bigger audience. Okay, so here's an example. Let's say that you are selling a health offer. Okay, let's say you're selling keto. Perfect example. Let's say that you are selling a keto cookbook. Well, with a keto cookbook, obviously the targeting can go after specifically ketosis, but then ultimately people are in the keto diet because they want to lose weight. So losing weight is going to be your ultimate holy grail targeting. If you can get that to convert, you're going to make a lot of money. 
But in the beginning, because you just have a new offer, you want to basically test out in the most targeted audience first to see if it works out or not. So in this case, you want to specifically go after ketosis, right? And again, you want to go after a million to 1.5 million to really get started. Now, here's the rule of thumb that I have when it comes to the detail targeting. We only go after one targeting at a time. And the reason why I say that is because if you start to stack the audience on adding keto, weight loss, fitness, or everything that is related, you are not going to be sure exactly if it is the keto diet marketing or targeting that it's going to convert or is it the weight loss. If you go into advertising without knowing your data and where your actual audience are, then you are essentially advertising blindly and that's not going to be good for your business. So again, my rule of thumb is to always go after one targeting at a time. And if you're just starting out, start with a million to 1.5 million. But if you have tested out your offer and your ad and it is converting, then you can actually go after a much bigger audience size in that state of things. Now, last but not least is simply going to be the placements. Once again, it depends on what business you're running and ultimately what stage you are at with your Facebook ads. If you are into e-commerce and you have yet tested out your product and you have yet tested out your targeting and you have yet tested out your creative, you actually just want to go after specifically mobile newsfeed first because we wanna eliminate all the other stuff. We wanna actually see if the product that we wanted to promote are going to be really hitting the benchmark data that we need. And if it does, you can actually go after all placement. Now, on the other hand, if your goal is to just generate leads, or your goal is to just get traffic to your website, then you wanna keep under automatic placement, which is leaving all placement on and let Facebook do its job. So again, like I said, it depends on where you are at. Now with e-commerce, if you already tested out the product, you already have a winning creative, then you can actually run automatic placement, which is all placement and let Facebook algorithm do its job to help you get your lowest cost per purchase. So in a nutshell, that's really it. Oh, last but not least, I actually skip ahead of myself because it really boils down into you choosing CBO or ABO. If you have chosen ABO, which is asset budget optimization, and I talked about this in part two of our multi-part Facebook ad training, if you chose ABO, then you can actually select or choose your daily budget in the ad set level. Now, a lot of people ask, what should my budget be? Well, here's the deal. $5 per day still works. And my recommendation is actually $20 a day. And I highly encourage you to actually watch this video. Does $5 Facebook ad still work? I'll explain exactly why or how $5 a day still works and what you should be looking at. So in a nutshell, the rule of thumb when it comes to your asset is number one, you want to make sure you choose the conversion that you want on your website. Number two, make sure you fix the location targeting. Number three, make sure you go after one targeting at a time. Number four is the placements, again, depending on where you are at with their Facebook ads, you choose the placement from there. Now, here's one ultimate takeaway for you when it comes to the ad set. Remember, you have one campaign, which is the ultimate outcome of your Facebook ads. Under your campaign, you should have, for myself, my recommendation to have at least three to six ad set running, okay? So that way you can actually see which targeting is gonna get you the best performance and you're getting the data that you need and you can actually optimize off of it, all right? So that's it for our part three, which is all about targeting. In our next video, we're gonna actually dive right in into the actual ad creative and I'll even, if you comment right below and show me your excitement, I may even actually review one of my best converting ad template for your Facebook ad that you can use that's gonna skyrocket your click-through rate and get a much lower cost per click. So again, if you love this video training, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. 
Now, shameless plug, if you want to actually have us, my team and I, to help you with your Facebook ad, I highly encourage you to actually check out iPer Academy Premium. It is a private invite only group that allows you to have unlimited streaming in all my results driven courses, which has all the step by step tutorials, watch over my shoulder, and even getting access right into our private community and also our weekly live coaching call, where in that call, I can actually control your computer, learn about your business, look at your Facebook ads, and actually give you recommendation so that you can actually get the best results from your Facebook ads. Other than that, listen, if you enjoyed the entire video, comment right down below, share with me your thoughts, and if you have yet to watch part one and part two of my Facebook ad tutorial, make sure you watch that before you dive right in into part three of this specific process, which is all about targeting. And like I said, next video is gonna be all about the final piece, which is the ad. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.